What's up with y'all Ugg glasses, man? Today, this is a very easy and simple strategy, man. Um, I kind of seen something similar online, but I mean, you kind of seen variations of this strategy before. So I'm going to use a fake out and slap Tyrannitor fat ass. So now he's going to flinch. And now I'm going to use the uh, fucking entrainment onto the Tyranitor, which basically switches his ability to mine. And I have the Choint or however you pronounce the ability but it stop you from attacking consecutive so he gonna hit me with the freaking knock off knock my item off which is all good because i'm still in this ring and real in the field and he gonna try to crunch me and take me out and it's all good he uh he does the parting shot and swaps out which is all good so i take this time out to use the parish song now parish song you have three turns to attack. Now, if y'all know anything about these gothic Pokemon, they had this ability called the Shadow Tag, which stops the Pokemon from switching out unless they was to use like some type of U-turn or, you know, a uh, flip turn or port and shot, any moves that, you know, require them to switch out. So basically, all I could do now is just stall out until, you know what I'm saying, the Parish Count uh, gets to turn one, and then they have no choice but to switch. So he's going to take this time out to attack my Azuma Rail. Um, I just throw out the Whirlpool, you know, why not? Uh, that also keeps them trapped in, but I really don't need it because my Gothic Pokemon is still alive, but you never know. They might kill it and, you know, be able to switch out. So, you know, I switch to my Stung Fist, and you know both his pokemon is gonna die you see he tried to u-turn at the last minute but i managed to block it so now they will both die this turn and then you know i still got all my pokemon now this stun fist his little ugly flat boot shoe head ass he has his ability called snap trap which basically clamps onto the opponent and it stops them from su uh, switching out as well so i could use that to trap him in with the uh prayer song so he's gonna attack my gothic pokemon and he knocks me out and now he's going to take this time out to hit my Azuma Rail. But it's all good because I have this Lapras. And Lapras is so bulky with his health. And I made sure I emphasized on his defense and special defense. So now I'm able to use the Prayer Song once again. And now he's trapped in, guys. Well, he's not really trapped in yet. But now he's trapped in. So I can protect and basically just stall out. So he's going to just take this time to just, you know what I'm saying, try to attack me and knock my goofy ass out but you know it ain't it ain't even working right now i hit him with the fake out he can't even attack that turn and he only has one more turn before he perishes away and then he's only left with two pokemon so i could just hit him throw out the durant sacrifice that and protect with the stun fist and there you go you know he got two pokemon down and i didn't even really have to attack so at this moment i mean he really I already know what it is you can't do nothing to me so just call it a game dude it's like he really tried to attack me y'all uh, and i hit him with the prayer song again you only got two pokemon left there's nothing you could do but you know it's always good when someone still tries to fight back but sometimes when you meet your demise it's just time to give up with your little ugly ass so i'm just gonna keep protecting he's gonna keep attacking and it, I just let him do what he want because like these my last, these my two Pokemon, them your last two. You know what I'm saying? Once you dead, you dead. I still got some backup, so I could just hit, keep hitting protect. Like I don't even care no more. Like come on, man, it's only a matter of time. And purge count one, and he knows like you're gonna die. I could just swap out, and he forfeits. So um, basically, here's the next match. Um, it kind of looks like a trick room team for real for real because every time I see dust clops I just think a trick room, but actually he's just trying to I, I, I guess he is just a supporting dust clops to you know use the helping hand to get the nine tails to knock my goof fast out but i already hit it with the entrainment so now he got my ability and durant i equipped it with the focus sash so don't know fire attacks knock me out in one hit so i used the uh whirlpool i got the uh prima manera rena what the fuck your ugly ass name is i got that bitch stuck in and i got the gothic pokemon so i'm just out here i can use a heal pulse to heal on up and just keep them trapped in now with ghost pokemon in this generation ghost pokemon they are able to switch out even if you have the shadow tag so dustclops ugly ass can actually switch out right now and i don't know if this person doesn't know the mechanics of pokemon or what but it's the 
I don't know. He just decided to stay in and look, he just fucking died, the goofball. So now I'm still in the game. The Preminera or Primarina is still in. And now I have the Lapras out. And uh, the Lapras also has the water absorb. So he can't really use no water attacks on me unless he want to give me some more health. And I take this time out to switch to my other uh, gothic Pokemon. And uh, he tries to heat wave and energy ball me and knocks me out. But, you know, this is the last turn. So the Primarina that's going down. And now he has the nine tails. So I can hit, you know what I'm saying, the exit drill with the fake out. Just slap his little mole rat looking ass. And he can't even fucking attack. So uh, I hit him with the prayer song again, man. So now it's just like, dude, what can you do right now? It's like none of your Pokemon is like effective at all. And I'm just swapping out my Pokemon. And I switch into this Stump Fist, which is actually a special uh, defensive Stump Fist. So he's able to eat special attacks a little well. And he has a decent amount of defense. So uh, the Mole Rat is still in. Um, he has the Serena. He manages to... Um, <laughs> The nine tails basically die, so he throws out this fucking Serena shit, and I fucking hate Serena. Serena got this ability called Queen Queenly Majesty, so you can't use any priority attacks or something on it. So um, it, it doesn't really affect this team because the Paris song, I could just you know pretty much get you out the way just like that, and then he's down to his last two basically. And um, once this Azumarill gets his Paris song off, it's pretty much nothing you can do. So I have that combined with a Lapras um, and a Durant as well. So I can basically just use the entrainment and then I can swap the ability. So now he can't attack next turn. So he, he takes me out, which is all good. And now he's just going to keep on trying to attack my Zoomerail. And really, my Zoomerail has the ability Sap Sipper. So any grass attack you use on it, it automatically boosts my attack. So he can't use any grass attack. Um... I can, I'm just alive, y'all, and I'm doing very well for myself. And everyone dies the next turn, and I managed to get off the double protect, even with the Azuma Rail. And the Azuma Rail is going down as well, guys. And this is the game. Everyone must die. Back. I'm the goat.